The disturbance created in the rail when the injector opens or closes has to be reacted by something, right? Either all of the fuel in the system from the fuel pump all the way to the injector has to be accelerated to to meet the new flow rate, or some compliant portion of the system needs to react to basically fill the void created by the injector trying to pull fuel out of the rail. On any return style system, the regulator itself does a wonderful job of that. Well, uh, it does a good job. How's that? Mm. And the way it does that is when the pressure in the rail drops, it responds by closing off the return flow. It works better than you might think it would. The problem is that it's communicated, the, the disturbance is communicated to the regulator at the speed of sound. And that is at the speed of sound in the liquid in the rail, right? So if your regulator is a foot away or five feet away, the regulator often cannot respond in time to properly cover up the pulsation.